How is everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing great. I hope you're all staying safe. And in today's video, we're taking a look at this laptop here. Do you guys remember this? This was part of our free NAS video. Okay, uh, before this video begins, I have something very important to say. And that is that before I went to work today, I got an email from Patreon telling me that I have a new Patreon. So I completely forgot that the Patreon exists and I don't know what to say. I honestly don't, I really don't. Like, it's just so amazing. I don't know what to say here. I, I am just so happy that people decided that my content was good enough to actually support it. So your names are right here and your names will show up at the end of every video from now on and at the bottom of every description, the Patreon is live, it's working. So if anybody ever wants to support the channel, that is the best way to do it. And I greatly appreciate every single one of you. You're helping me continue making the content I love, buying better equipment, paying for things I need to pay for. So thank you so much once again. I felt like that was a very important thing to say and I'm gonna throw this into the video, re-render it, and off it goes for upload for tomorrow. So thank you so much. And I have decided, you know what, this thing is pretty damn slow and I recently watched Linus's video on Ameliorated Edition and there is a video coming out very soon, unless it has already come out, about us activating this thing where I talked a little bit more about Ameliorated Edition, but basically what it is it is a fully cut down version of Windows. No Windows services, no Windows update. It essentially stops Windows from phoning home at all. Now, it also disables a few of those important services. For example, Windows update, etc. So I've been wondering, is there a way we can make slow laptops and computers faster without necessarily disabling those essential services? And I came across a script that I think I used in the past called the Windows Decrapifier, which essentially decrapifies Windows. It removes, and yes, it does remove, it doesn't disable, it removes all the software you do not need. For example, Windows Store, Cortana, everything else completely removes it off Windows. So we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to decrapify your Windows 10 today. And hopefully in the end, we have a much faster working machine because the problem with this laptop is its processor isn't exactly the strongest. In fact, we are constantly running at about 89% CPU usage, 76 now 68. Okay, it kind of drops, but most of that is being used by Windows Core services. And I don't necessarily like Windows Core services and I don't give a single sh about Windows Store or for example, Windows Mail, which Linus got very triggered about. And then again, who the hell does use Windows Mail? So we are going to remove them. I'm going to take you through the exact steps on how to remove all of them by running a single script made by some geniuses online. So why don't we get straight into it and let me tell you a little bit more about what we're doing. So Ameliorated Edition essentially disables all the services and does a lot, lot more because after all, it is a clean Windows install. Now this is Windows 2004 I'm doing it on, that is version 2004. So I'm not exactly sure whether all of this is going to work, but we're just going to pray that it does and hopefully it does. So I'm going to search for Decrapifier right here, Windows 10, and we are going to scroll down until we find the script center right here. So we have the script center open up, and this is where you are going to download the Decrapifier script. I'm not going to post it in the description just in case YouTube decides that it's dangerous and decides to remove my video. So we are going to copy this entire script right here, just like this, and we are going to make a file on the desktop, just a text file in which to we are going to paste this script. So creating a file on our desktop right here, text document, let's call it decrap and open it up, paste the script, press control S and now you are going to want to click save as and you are going to want to save it as .ps1. That is because we need to make this an executable. So we are going to type all files, make it a .ps1, and now I'm going to open the instructions for myself on my computer so that I don't get this wrong. Click Right click on the PowerShell, run it as administrator, this is very important, and type set-execution policy unrestricted. Just like that, yes to all, 
Boom. Now we are completely unrestricted. So now you want to do CD dot dot. You essentially need to find your profile here. So I'm going to do CD users. Once, once you see your in C, I'm going to do CD users. And then I'm going to do dir, which should show me all the directories. And then I'm going to do CD admin because that is the name of my user. You essentially need to get to your desktop. There's a bunch of different ways of doing this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. And now I should be on my desktop. Perfect. And now you type a dot, a backslash, decrap, because that is the name of our script, dot PS1. And this is where you put in all your switches. There's a bunch of different switches that you can find on this website right here. But the main one I'm really interested in is all apps, which will remove all the apps. That's one very important one for myself. And then I also want clear start which should clear the start menu. And this should be it. We now should have everything fully ready to run the script. And now we are going to run the script. And as you can see, it is getting run right here, right before our eyes, the log is completing, it is deleting everything. So as you can see, we have Windows Mail down here, we have Edge, we have Cortana, uh, the start menu is still its, its own thing. And hopefully by the end of this, we should see a big change in the way Windows works. As you can see, it's now removing all the packages. Yes, it is not disabling them, like Linus was talking about a different way of decrapifying Windows. This is literally removing the apps straight from your Windows install. Oh no, it removed MS Paint. Oh no, my favorite app. Oh, this is so sad. Alexa, play, de no, don't. Hmm, I don't know that one. Good. And as you can see, it is removing all the useless garbage. Oh yes, it removed OneNote. I'm just waiting for it to remove OneDrive. That thing is so annoying. It is removing everything. It even removed the camera. Now do keep in mind, once this is complete, you will not be able to install any of these back. It will be extremely hard. So please, please, please do not remove something you will need. Like for example, this removes the Windows Store. That, I don't know how to get that back. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, I do not know how to get that back. And as you can see from the taskbar, it has already removed the forever hated Windows Mail. Here we go, this, this seems to be doing a very good job. What is interesting though, is it hasn't removed Microsoft Edge. So I wonder if that's, something that has, you know, changed with the new 2004 version of Windows that it can't remove Microsoft Edge. But I guess we are going to see once this is fully complete. It does still seem to be removing things, so... Oh, you can see it working on the start menu in real time. It is doing its thing. It is removing everything. This is exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. Okay, I say we just... We relax while this does its thing. So as you can see, the script has successfully completed. It is telling you to set the execution policy back to default for security reasons. So uh, it is also telling you to reboot your computer now. So I am going to set the execution policy back to default just for security reasons. And now we are going to restart the computer and hopefully we see a massive difference once it has restarted. Oh, it's working on updates. <laughs> It is literally working on updates while being uh, decrapified. That is funny. So I'm going to let this thing work on its updates and I'll be right back to you guys once it turns back on so we can see what the big difference is. Okay, so the laptop has successfully powered back up. It did complete its Windows updates and it did say something along the lines of adding features at the end, which was slightly suspicious. I almost thought it was going to add all those apps back but I'm now going to start up OBS on it so that you guys can see exactly what's up on this laptop because it's amazing. It's so much faster and I want you guys to see this. I don't know if it's still going to be as fast with OBS open, but hopefully, hopefully I can show you guys the gist of this. So your privacy settings have blocked access to the microphone. It seems that the decrapifier has literally blocked settings to the cameras and to the microphone on all apps. So there is no access to the microphone anymore for OBS here, but you can of course change that in settings. So as you can see instantly, it's quite a bit faster. The start menu opens up pretty much instantly. There's no waiting for that thing to open where last time I would have to wait. And as you can see, the taskbar is super empty. Clicking down here, you can see there is no OneDrive. OneDrive is completely removed. And now if we open up task manager, which again also opens much faster than last time, you can see that the 
the CPU is dropping drastically. It is now at a total of only about 34%, and that is with OBS running, where without OBS running, it was constantly going at about 85%, without the decrapifier. This is amazing. This has actually made this laptop usable now. And of course, Windows Explorer, which is the thing that normally takes years to open, now opens pretty much instantly. This thing is super responsive. The only thing that I don't understand is the fact that Edge is still here. I would have thought that would have gotten removed as well with everything else. But hey, look, I don't mind. Opening up Google Chrome right here. Let's see how long that takes. I'm Usually, I think this is going to take a while. Okay, that is quite a bit faster already than it was, especially since we have OBS running. Let us see whether it is possible to watch a YouTube video on this, because it actually wasn't last time, because the CPU usage was just so high, it would just lag out. So even with OBS running now, let's try this out. That seems to be playing. That seems to be playing. And if I tried to play it at uh, 1080p, I'm not gonna push it to 2K. That is doing so much better. You can actually watch YouTube videos on it. And if I full screen it, even full screening it works. That is amazing. So this thing is actually like worth using now. That is pretty cool. Okay, so we've made the laptop usable. I guess the only thing left to do for us to try in the next video is to try Ameliorated Edition on it. Even though this is an amazing way of actually making everything work for yourself without having to switch to Ameliorated Edition. Because you still have internet access, you still have Windows updates, you don't have the Windows Store, you don't have OneDrive constantly opening up in the background, and you don't have the camera app. I don't know why we don't have the camera app. But the thing is, yes, camera privacy settings are a little bit messed up. So to allow apps to access your camera, you just need to flick this switch right here, and that should allow all apps to access your camera again. But that is something that Ameliorated Edition does turn, no, that the decrapifier does turn off by default for privacy concerns. This thing is just, but this thing is just so, so, so much faster now that I might genuinely start using it. It is a touchscreen after all, so, you know, I do enjoy myself using Windows on a touchscreen. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. I hope you guys learned something new here. I hope I helped you guys out with your older devices. If you guys have a gaming PC, if you have like an Oculus Quest or a Rift S, I don't necessarily know how much I recommend using this because of the camera and microphone privacy settings that might mess with the Rift and the Oculus app. But hey, if you wanna try it out, feel free to do so. Let me know how it goes down in the comments section. But yeah, on older devices, this thing helps quite a lot. And as I said, we are gonna try Ameliorated Edition, so stick with me. We're gonna try that out in the next video. But yeah, if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys wanna join this community, there's a Discord link down in the description. There is a Reddit link down in the description where I wanna see you guys posting your spicy memes. If you guys wanna be notified of future content, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.